Nine and two-thirds innings, eight hits allowed. Only three walks, seven strikeouts. That's smacked inside the line and will go for extra bases as Montiel is on his way. He spanked that one for his third double of the season. Now he A liner to center field is a clean base hit, and Sandal not only moves his hitting streak to four, he drives in Montiel from third base, one nothing South Alabama. Kaminer to the plate. Runner is on the move, and he got a terrific jump. Malazzo guns down there, safe. Sandal really got an excellent start from first base, and Malazzo cut loose with a very good throw, as is his custom. And field is deep. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch. Bates goes down. The first strikeout for Kaminer. Here's Cade Doty. He bangs it to the right side and finds open space. Doty with a base hit. And, and, and really getting beat up on. He said, I didn't want my young guys to lose confidence. Out at second. Out at first. Santi Martiel did an excellent job of snaring that ground ball. Some young players have grown up, and they can bang it with the best of them. Alden Davis goes down on strikes last year, but only came in hitting 138. He drives this one toward the right field corner. Cabrera leaves his feet, but he can't get it. He will pick it up on the warning track, and De La Torre stops at second base. So send him to me, and we'll read him on the air. Swing and a miss. Kaminer threw it in a good place, didn't he, Ben? He threw it in a perfect place, and it had a little bit of cut to it. All out of the ball yard as of yet. This may change things. I think it way, will. Way, way back. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Cade Veloso smashes his first home run of the year. It immediately moves his hitting streak to five games. And on one swing, the sophomore first baseman Pulls this game even. Right center field and a nice balanced attack, and he knew it right out of the shoot. Watch where this thing lands. I'm talking about well over the fence and over the bleachers. Left field for LSU has kind of been a revolving door up to this point, you know. Dugas hits it sharply. It finds open space on the left side. Back-to-back -back base hits by LSU. Bates retreats. He's drifting back, and he makes the catch a couple of steps in front of the warning track. Kaminer's 3-2 pitch. Lobbed into right field. That finds space for a base hit. Reed Powers twice has gone that way. The first time Cabrera caught his fly ball. The 2-2 pitch from Kaminer. Got him swinging. And that's inside ball four. Kaminer delivers, and that gets a piece of Andrew Bates. So all of a sudden, the water is starting to boil around Brandon Kaminer, but there are two outs. And does not have an ERA, right? Zero. Correct. Kaminer takes care of business. Davis left at the plate for the... Cranford chops one up the middle, and... Stokes cannot make a backhanded play. And back to the top of the order we go for Zach Mathis. He drops one into center field. Cranford is around second. Cranford will make third without a throw. Runners on the corners on back-to-back -back base hits by Collier Cranford and Zach Mathis. He spanks this one on a hop through the left side. An RBI single by Doty. The throw is cut off, and Doty sees the throw go to third base and alertly scoots into scoring position himself. Doorbell right here. A liner to center. That drops in for a base hit. Two Tigers will score as Daniel Cabrera drives in a pair, and LSU has four consecutive hits and three runs in the inning. The peg down after the bobble at the plate, and Beloso is out. Hasty issues a two out walk. Hasty checks the runner and brings the 3 1 pitch. Popped up. Malazzo 
makes the catch up the first base side. And that ends the inning as Ethan Wilson fouls out. Well, Giacomo chased three breaking pitches and was not close to any of them against the starter Kaminer. Jacob Hasty went one inning as Sandal reaches for that and can't find it. I have heard that for many, many years. I know you have as well. This is a ball that's going to drop in left center field. You could almost call that one a humpback liner. Fix and say, there you go. He coming uh, in response to the virus. The throw down, safe. K. Doty feet first and got in there. Once again, that shift takes a base hit away from Cade Beloso. Bates goes down swinging. Bates. And this springs on Davis, and he's hit by a pitch. To beat Ole Miss, what are some of the keys to that series? There's a knock to right field by De La Torre. He's been suffering offensively, especially compared to last year. Stores takes care of Montiel on strikes against UMass Lowell. And he goes the other way and finds left field for a base hit. Showing a defense. Well, DiGiacomo could be one of those guys as well. The runner is moving. DiGiacomo swings and misses. And Sanford has a stolen base. Didn't have any trouble there as he just knocked a little paint off the outside corner. They got it too much coffee before the game. Well, I, I think thinking. so. That's a pretty good way he, to say it. He needed to cut down just maybe to one or two cups of coffee. Five hits for the Jaguars, nine for the Tigers. Cranford is first pitch swinging, and he stings one into left field. Collier Cranford has a two-hit night. He's digging for second. He'll make it easily. Collier Cranford. Thing that's never been dealt with before. Cabrera goes down on strikes, and that was a good job by Millerons. The 2 2. Or make it the 3 2 pitch, and that's upstairs. Beloso is behind the runner at first base. De La Torre hits the ball hard again, but it's grabbed by Cabrera in deep right field. Side, took out all three. A little lob into right field for a base hit. This year, when the season opened, there goes the runner. Pitches outside. The peg is a good one. In time for the out. Mm. Bianco fans, and that ends the eighth. Days. Mm. Oh, that's how you do it right there. Alabama to five hits and one run. Swing and a miss. Pontano strikes out two in the ninth. A three up, three down performance. And the LSU Tigers have won five in a row.